God, I can't wait to get you under. Hello. We made it. Um, I'm alive. <laughs> so, we, I drove most of the 10 hour drive yesterday. And Grums worked from the passenger seat because a bunch of his people were off, so he kind of uh, had to fill in. <laughs> it's okay. But I drove us here. I'm proud of myself. But yeah, I, I did most of the driving, which is like no big deal. Um, but I'm exhausted. And I mean exhausted. So I haven't done much more reading. I'm still working on Hoarded by the Dragon. I just came in here because I think we're switching rooms. So there's three options up here and basically the room we're in is very blue just like this one is a very creamy yellow butter maybe um but the room we're currently in is great but grums and i cannot share a queen bed <laughs> I feel like such a diva, but like literally we get two beds when we go to the hotel because we would rather have two beds than be cramped and have enough pillows. Um, even though at home we share our king, like no problem. But a queen is too small. He's very broad. He's very he's a very broad man. Um <laughs> so I'm in here. I think this is where I'm sleeping tonight. And I'm on this is like brand new. This is like new um memory foam mattress and everything which is very comfortable to be honest i'm impressed and this bedding is super cute from aldi look at mama happy snagging the deals anyways i'm here today it was a very busy day because i want i didn't sleep well and i'm already like exhausted from the drive and um we had my nephew over for a while today which was great it's always good to see my giant four-year-old nephew uh and when i say giant like homie is nearing four feet tall at four uh he's gonna be taller than me really soon so that's fun <laughs> and you say is, is, why don't you want children and i say have you seen my nephew have you seen my partner <laughs> you haven't most of you have not but i'm just saying the likelihood of me having a very tall child is high <laughs> Uh, I'm the one who got blessed with the shorty jeans. It's fine. Anyways, we're here. We're in Dallas. I'm excited. We're here through the 27th. Yeah. So I think that on the 27th, I will drive us home. But yeah, I'm excited to be here. But yeah, it's going well. Millie's doing great. Pease is thriving. She just wants love and attention which is totally fine. So we've been spending a lot of time in the rooms with her to give her love and attention. Um, but yeah, I'm just over here because I could update you easier from this room, honestly, because the blue does a lot to me. Uh, the If I'm ever here for like a longer time, I'll be painting that room for my mom. But yeah, I, I'm excited. It's a good time. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for my birthday. We have some fun plans. I think tomorrow we're going to go to the pickle store. And I'm really pumped. So if you don't know, I love pickles. And there's a store called the Pickle Emporium by Best Made Pickles, which are a Texas pickle. And uh, yeah, I think we're going tomorrow so I can get pickles. But yeah, I, uh, that's all I got right now. I'm freaking exhausted. I'm going to go downstairs, see if Grumps wants to give me my birthday present early because he was talking about that the other day um and figure out our room switch situation when we want to do that because i've got to unpack all my clothes from the dresser in there and put them in the closet in here this is technically where my nephew will eventually sleep <laughs> when he is old enough to sleep in here but yeah i'm excited and uh very very sleepy so i'll be back to up to you if i read more hoarded by the dragon tonight but if not, dog be roll here, cause you know all the dogs. Right back to where we been. Oh, nah, nah. Give me a sign and tell me when to begin. Cause every time we leave, I'm in longing back, back to the place where the lights go down. Just you and I leaving out the rest. Oh. Let me know now. Let me know now.
never needed love Until I saw and I met your eyes That's why I'm moving close To be here and to get you under my skin and right back Come in here so you can see me Good morning, it's Tuesday It's my birthday, it's Tuesday, it's Monday It's my birthday Um No huge plans today, mom and I are going to Spend the afternoon running around a little bit Going some places um, getting some of my freebies. I got my gifts from Grumps. They were very sweet. He got me two Lego sets, two of the Lego floral sets I'm missing, and the Instax Evo Fujifilm, which I'll show you in a bit when it's set up, but I went over to you because I'm like 80% through Hoarded by the Dragon right now. I stayed up way too late last night reading it, but I finally had the energy to read. I feel like I've recovered from the drive. And uh, I'm loving it. This is so Lillian Lark and everything she does I'm obsessed with so it's not surprising I'm loving it. But it's working for me real well. We've had DP with his two penises. That was delightful. And uh, they visited the bathhouse which has been like a mainstay throughout this entire series that I adore as a location so that's been fun. And yeah, I'm really enjoying it. And I feel like we're getting a preview for the next book. I think it's going to be Ben and Stella. Fingers crossed. I haven't checked. I'm pretty sure I'm right though. But yeah, I'm loving it. It's just a quiet morning. Um, you know, just a calm birthday. And as you saw, I got a birthday donut this morning. My dad went and picked us up donuts. And uh, got me a princess donut, of course. Um, but yeah, that's that. I honestly take you along on our adventures today and otherwise I don't know what else is going on we're gonna go to a nice dinner and yeah I'm about to go edit a video <laughs> because I need to do that for tomorrow and so I have a video for Tuesday or Sunday depending on how the Barnes and Noble sale goes and if I find anything but yeah that's where we're at right now <sighs> there's not much else going on honestly it's a very calm week Grums is working from my parents house right now and uh somebody's doing yard work so there's that all right i'm gonna go downstairs and refill my water and do some laundry and edit i will talk to you all soon i take it back real quick i wanted to show you so i set up a little like display for my bestie of all the things i brought her and my mom got her i have two more things I have to bring upstairs um that she's taking but hold on let me show you this she's probably gonna cry um because Grumps got her emotional support fries. <laughs> when she came to visit us in March, uh, she got potatoes at every meal and she's literally Irish, like lived in Ireland, like her family's there. And <laughs> so we always make fun of her, call her a favorite leprechaun and stuff, but also about potatoes. And uh, he, we found this. So he bought it for her. She's probably gonna cry when she gets it because he just, uh, he makes her cry sometimes in good ways. It's really sweet, but yeah. I am very excited for her to be here on Wednesday. I haven't seen her since March. That's wild. I hate that. But yeah, okay. Now I'm gonna go. Okay, I've had dinner. Uh, the boobs are out. It's fine. We're just, we're in a bodysuit, so it's presentation. Um. Anyways, had dinner. I'm about to go shower and wash my face. I'm so tired, but I'm gonna shower, wash my face, put on comfies, because I don't, I think my pajamas are in the dryer right now. We'll see. And uh, finish Ordered by the Dragon. That's the plan tonight. It is 7.06, we had a very early birthday dinner. The place we wanted to go to, we like to eat at the bar, um, and it filled up really quickly, but oh my god, fantastic food. I had a mahi-mahi. That was so good. We also had like a grilled artichoke appetizer that I had to die for. So good. Um, and mom and I split the the entree. But, oh, and then I had a blackberry cobbler for dessert, which was also very good. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for tonight. I'm going to go change out of my cute little knit set that I have and uh, put on comfies because honestly... I don't want to be anything else right now but comfies. 
So yeah, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna work on my book. We'll finish that up tonight and we'll update you in the morning. But just a calm, fun day. We went and got a couple freebies and we went to Ulta and did some shopping. <laughs> I ended up holding the basket, so I didn't really get a lot of clips, but I will report back on what I bought and what I think of it. I'm hoping tomorrow to find one of the half magic shades I want to try called No Shame. So we'll see. We'll see. I'm also trying to find this skin tint for my mom. But so far, we've not had any luck. So yeah, we'll see what we find tomorrow. But yeah, um, not much else going on. I'm going to work on that tonight. And I also need to work on a Goodreads book tonight. Which I need to find the motivation because I do need to be further along in this project than I am because otherwise next week I'm going to be reading multiple books at once and that's not easy. <laughs> More than multiple. I'm going to be reading like two books a day. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see. But I'm excited for that to be done. Uh, I think that's it right now. So I'm going to go wash my face because I feel... I'm not having that long. I just, I'm so full that I want to like wash my face and be able to lay down and pass out if I need to. Leave, I'm longing back, back to the place where the lights go down. Just you and I leaving out the rest. Oh, so that I needed you in my bed. Give me a sign more than in your head. Only together at its best. Oh, let me know. Hello from a bathroom. Um, it's weird to update with as many people at the house as there are, but it's the day after Thanksgiving. I took no footage yesterday. I basically spent the entire day with Grumps and Bestie. Okay, but I did read some. Most of Stuffed by Danielle Allen, and I'm super duper close to finishing Quartered by the Dragon, but I wanted to pivot to Thanksgiving book because like, this is kind of the only weekend I read them. But I read, um, oh my god, but I read 60% of A Perfect Stuffing. 60? Yeah, 60%. So I will finish that up today. We are getting ready. I'm doing a Black Friday shopping vlog for y'all where I go to Barnes Noble. I think we're going to Kino and Kenya and some other places. So you will go, you won't get the Barnes Noble clips here really. You'll get those in a separate vlog, but I'm also going to take y'all into Kino and Kenya and anywhere else we go. Um, I also realized I need to charge my Kindle Fire because I lost my reading streak and I read a little bit the last few days, but I'm just like, mom and I do a lot of prep <laughs> work for Thanksgiving and that's been my main focus, which means it takes me a hot second to get through stuff. But also I need to talk to you about the holiday, the Christmas movies we were watching yesterday real quick before I go and take that back. So first of all, I also, I have to talk about these. So we watched the end of the Christmas hotline on Hallmark and that was weird. Okay. Like that was a weird one. I would love to know if anyone else has watched it the full way through. I don't know if I want to watch it the full way through. I think I caught the last 30 minutes and I continue to be confused. And then we watched Christmas Island and that was a weird one also. Not terrible, it was okay. And then we did watch Elf because how else can you kick off the holiday season but with one of my all-time favorites, Elf. So that's what we did. But yeah, um, it was a really nice day, honestly. So I'm gonna go shower. I will catch you when I don't look. That's messy, and I'll be back in a few. Uh, uh, to be here and to get you under my skin and right back to it we've been. Uh, give me a sign and tell me when to begin. Oh uh, yeah. Hello vlog, I'm back from running around. I'm gonna show you my tiny stack. This is all I bought. So four volumes, not too bad. Um, and honestly, I'm about to grab my Kindle and go downstairs and read. So, updates coming when I've read some more at some point today.
was terrible. I was absolutely terrible at vlogging the last two weeks. So I'm here to close this out. <laughs> Because I didn't even come back to you and talk to you about Back for Seconds by Vera Valentine and her co-author JL something. I just looked at it and I already forgot. Anyways, I do need to talk to you about this because, oh my god, okay. <laughs> so this, <laughs> I gotta stop laughing, I'm sorry. This was wild. I gave it four stars, first of all, because like it just... It was what it was. Like, it committed to the bit and it delivered on the bit. It is more erotic, erotica situation. It's 30 pages. You will read it in 20 minutes or less, probably. Put it on your TBR for next Thanksgiving because it just is so funny and so weird and does so much in so little space. And I'm glad I read it. I still have been giggling about this book since I read it because it just was so funny and silly to me. So I had a blast with it. But again, I know it's not going to be for everyone. But at the same time, like, if you want to try Vera Valentine, this one or Hayseed's definitely your best bet. Otherwise, I have not read a ton. I'm reading for the Goodreads video, which you literally get next week. So that has been my main focus. And I will wrap up Hoarded by the Dragon in the vlog after the Goodreads one because I'm going to be treating myself to manga ideally and some other things in between Goodreads books because I am in misery. <laughs> that sounds so bad but truly y'all I'm I'm kind of miserable. It's fine. I'll get there. We're getting there. But yeah that's kind of where we ended off the, the month. We came back on Sunday and I just passed out and I've been so exhausted um it's Wednesday now so yeah I've just been exhausted from travel it was really busy obviously and I was just I wanted to maximize my time with my bestie while she was there so that was my focus more than reading and being sure I was vlogging because you know I don't put people on camera unless they want to be so yeah that was a big part of it too <laughs> and yeah I'm just I, I I had such a wonderful little trip down to Texas so that was a nice time to see everybody let me know in the comments how your holiday weekend was if you're in the states and if you are in the states let me know the weirdest book you've read this year because now i'm like curious because I, I back for seconds might be in the lead for me on like the weirdest book i've read this year now uh if you don't want to do either of those things you can leave me a like cold emoji because i am freezing my butt off because we had such a big temperature drop over the last like three days that i just don't know what to do with myself in fact I'm tempted to buy a portable heating blanket because they have one that like you can put a battery pack into now. It's at Walmart. It's, it's a little expensive, but it is at Walmart and you plug into a battery pack and you can wear it like a little shawl and I am ready to go full grandma here because I am freaking cold. It is so cold. So uh, yeah, give me a cold emoji. <laughs> And I'll have links to a couple books I read there down below for you. Uh, links to my friend anywhere on the internet. And I will talk to y'all in just a few days. Bye. Again. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited